Hello everyone, welcome to you on my channel. Today we are going to learn about graphs and charts. There are different types of graphs and charts, but today we will learn about the progress chart. Let us start learning about the progress chart. It is very easy. I put my percentages here and I want to see the remaining value. What is remaining? I will just use a simple formula equals to 1 minus 65 and it will give me the remaining value. I just drag the value down. Okay. so that okay this is my data and this is my remaining value and this is my actual value there are two methods one is automated and one is as per your requirement what you are looking for first i just highlight this one i'll go to insert i will go to pie chart and donut chart it is here with me now the donut chart automatically generated I need to resize it. I want size 3 by 3 and it will be here with us. 3 by 3 chart it is with us now. I do not want these legends and uh, header. I just go to chart title and legend size. I remove this. I do not want this uh, you know uh, I, I need a transparency first between this okay and I will just click here on the chart no fill and no outline. See now I can see the background of my chart as well. Now what I will do it, I will make, I want if, if you want to go in data points just click on the chart anywhere here and see here white line is coming. I do not want this one. I will click anywhere here and I will put no fill okay and it will not show me now anymore see here data points no fill both of them its white line is removed and it is showing the continuation of that one now i'll just click right format data points and it will show me here data points i need 65% or 60% i make it 60% now this one, I can see my data percentages here. You can see it here. It's very easy. You can do it quickly. Okay. I want to see in between this one percentage sign. This 65% my actual here. It's very easy. Just go insert text, text box. Insert here one text box. In the formula bar just click OK and select your 65 percent actual for triple A value. Then just click on top, make your sign the value, size whatever you are looking for. Okay. If you want to make change color, you can do everything what you want. Okay. So this is that. It is very easy if you want to make change color here. Just click here, come on the formatter pointer and click here. For example, now I am going to change this color to this and here this color instead of this one, I am looking to make it this color. See, it, it is changing now. Now next method is manual data selection and then we will prepare that one. Just insert donor chart blank. See here now we are having this blank donut chart. Okay, here I just want to fix the size 3 by 3. Okay, just right click, select data, add value, and no series. And just here I will add the numbers. Here you will see it. After 1, I will enter up to 20 times 1 after comma. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. can see it, it is 20 times here and I do not want this chart title and legend as well. Solid fill, blue color I selected this one and now I just click on the chart, no fill, no fill both of them. Now, it is my chart is transparent with me. I will just copy and paste two times more. Let us see here now. I do it. Now, I am going to select my data, right click, select data, add series, series name is this one and series value. 65 to 35 B to C. Okay. Okay. Now, I need this one as a 60 percent, 65 percent I will make it, 65 percent. Okay. Then right click, change series type and triple A just secondary axis. It is there now. You can see it. Now, this chart I do not want solid fill, no fill. Okay, you can see the lines are changing now here. I will just select this one, white, and transparency is 20. You can see it is transparency to 20. This chart I need a color of green. I change to green color, select data, data series B and value is B to C. Okay. Okay. Now, I will make this one as well, 65 similar to that and I will change its x axis. Okay. Now I select this one, solid fill, no solid fill. This color I make it 20 and 20 percent transparent. You can see it. Okay. The third one we will do it now. This one. I want this color as purple, select data and series C and my series value is 85 to 70. Okay. And my data is here. It is very easy. Now, I will change its size. 65 percent as well and just right click, change data type, change the donut axis. Now, data is here, no fill, just select this value, no fill, this value orange one, just select white and its transparency 20. See now. I want to align them, all of them. This, 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 three of them I highlighted. Shape format, align, distribute horizontally and vertically. Now, all size in between them is similar. There is no change. I can group them, group. See, now I grouped them. I, if you do not want, just go back and ungroup, group and ungroup. Now, the next is 
I am going to insert here the same like this percentage. Insert text, text here, just click here equals to 65 percent. I need to make it size almost 32 center. Okay, for this one as well, I will insert text. Okay, B then center above. But the one thing which you are watching it here, it is showing the box which I do not want shape no fill, outline no fill, outline as well no outline. See now you cannot see the outline as well, it is only shape outline no outline, ok there is no outline now. The next one is this purple chart. You can insert here as well the same and you can do the same. Another important thing whenever now you will see here what I am going to do it, I am going to make any change here. For example, here 60 percent see the percentage changed 75 percent is changing here automatically. And one more thing, see here now if you want to rotate this angle, you can do this one as well. You can just go here in this angle of first slice, see you can change the angle. Anywhere you can adjust your actual angles, see it is giving you the full option that how much you can rotate it. See it is rotating now, it is up to you what you are looking for and here you can shrink your sizes and you can select whatever you want, donuts explosion as well. So different options are available but it needs that you will use them as well and you will have to make some experiments with the data. So today we learn about the automation and the manual creation. In the next lecture we will learn about the pie chart and <coughs> line chart and bar charts. Thank you very much. Feedback. I hope you enjoyed this video and before leaving if you have not already subscribed this channel make sure to subscribe like and hit the bell icon to get updates when I post new videos, provide your feedback in comments.